in this video, I'm going to review going up and down the stairs with one crutch. Um, and when I mean that, I mean using one handrail and using the crutch on the opposite side. Compared to using two crutches, this way is a lot safer. So anytime you have the chance of using a handrail, always opt for that. Um, obviously, there are situations you encounter a curb or stairs in the community that don't have handrails. It's great to have both skill sets, but generally, if there's a handrail available, always use it. The rule with the crutches, I've actually got a couple different crutches to show you. Um, I have my axillary or underarm crutches. These are um, pretty standard here in the United States and are often given at the hospital. I also have Mobileg crutches, which are really popular with um, many patients with hip dysplasia. I also have my loft strand or forearm crutches. The technique for going up and down the stairs with crutches is absolutely the same no matter what crutches you use. I think the only difference is just there are some little variables about hand grips and things like that. But I'm going to start off by showing you with the axillary crutches or the underarm crutches. So if you've spent some time on crutches before or have ever been educated by a physical therapist, you may have heard the rule. Therapists often will say, up with the good, down with the bad. When we say this, um, the good leg I'm talking about is either the strongest leg, um, sometimes after surgery, um, well, it's definitely your non-operated side. It's your stronger side. It may be just on any given day, your less painful side. Sometimes hip patients with hip dysplasia have pain on both sides. Whichever leg is less painful would be your good leg. Um, your bad leg would be the side that you had surgery on. It might be a weaker side. It might be a side that happens to be more painful. So the crutches are always going to go with your weaker side or your bad leg. So going up the stairs, what um, I generally do with the Under Armour axillary crutches is I get a handhold on both, both of them. That's how I feel the easiest. My hands are actually pretty tiny, so the fact that I can do this, I'd say probably a lot of people could do this. Um, if you're really struggling to get that handhold, what definitely people will do sometimes is cross the crutches and then hold it. I happen to find that kind of challenging. I find that the crutch wiggles on me. Um, just not the way I feel most comfortable, but certainly other people might. So if I'm on my own though, I get my hold on my two crutches. I've got my handrail. What I did, I actually had surgery on my left hip. So I've got a orange sock on my left leg just to be able to show you guys what's, what's the surgery side or what side I'm trying to avoid weight bearing on. So going up the stairs, what I'm gonna do is hold the handrail, push into my crutches, lift my strong leg, my good leg, and then bring up my crutches and my surgery side or my bad leg. So up with the good, crutches and operated side come. Up with the good, crutches and the bad leg come. And if you just take your time, nice and easy going up the stairs. Once you reach the top, I would not recommend turning around mid-stair, but once you reach the top to come down, it's the exact opposite. So what I usually do is bring the crutches first, then my bad leg, and I really am not even putting much weight on that leg at all. But my strong, my good leg is controlling all that movement down. So it's not, you know, I think people get really nervous that you're kind of hopping down or maybe gonna hit land hard, but really if, if you put all the control on your good side, your crutches, your bad leg are coming down, and it's really nice and easy. There's, um, there's really nothing jarring about this. I feel totally safe doing this, nice and easy. And then when you get to the bottom of the stairs, get your balance, get two crutches, and you can take off. Now that's with the underarm crutches. I'll grab the Moby Leg crutches here next. These, I love my Moby Legs. As a physical therapist, I can say, um, I think the hand grips are phenomenal. I tend to get some problems with my wrist or my thumb especially. These nice wide grips really, really help with that. I find they're great crutches, they're very durable, but I think my biggest struggle is that, first of all, they're, they're made for a right and left side. So that becomes a challenge, especially if you're going upstairs and then downstairs, it can be a little confusing. The other issue is that with my little hands, there's just no way I'm getting both of those crutches in one. So I've kind of figured out a couple check tricks. I'd love to hear it if other people have other tricks. Um, obviously, once again, so easy if somebody else will take my opposite crutch. 
but um, what I do is just like with the other crutches, you could try to go like that. Once again, my hand is so tiny, that's really awkward for me. The other thing I've learned to do is that I'll actually pinch it with my thumb and my forefinger around here, and then I can get just enough hold with my other three fingers. So, and that actually, I'm able to stabilize enough that if I've really got that hand route, I can go up with the good, up with the good. And then same thing coming down. Got to have the left one on the inside. That's the only way I get the hand grips to really fit. But I bring the crutches, that bad leg, and I'm really stabilizing on the handrail. Once I get the crutch down, it actually stays pretty stable. I kind of squeeze it against my underarm as well. So that's one way I figured out. The other way I do them is I actually will kind of squeeze this one under my armpit and I'll go up and just kind of bring it along with me. Not the easiest or most convenient way to go up, but it works. And then same thing coming down. This one, I kind of have to kick that forward a little bit. And really it's, it's like using one crutch. I think if you can get them both in one hand somehow, that's a little bit of a safer way to do it. Just because then you don't have to be letting go of the handrail at all. But gotta love the Moby legs, just a little additional challenge on the stairs. Finally, I've got my lost strand crutches too. These I absolutely love, also kind of a similar challenge. Um, some, like the standard loft strand or, 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 I'm sorry, forearm crutches don't have sided hand grips. These are the, the in motion, the millennial in motion ones. So they actually have a right and a left. So I kind of come into the same situation that I do with the Moby legs. I do find these though, they're a little bit smaller so I can get that handhold on them. You could hold them sideways like that. These are really lightweight so that's a little bit easier to do. The other thing that's great with these though is because they have the forearm cuff, I actually find that the easiest for me is really just to let it kind of dangle. And I go up with the good, bring the crutches up with the good. You just have to be careful obviously that that doesn't get in your way and bang against you and cause you to lose your balance. But I just find by sliding my arm, it stays with me pretty well. Same thing turning around and if I come down, that's a little bit trickier just because I find that I have to push it forward. But for the actual descent, I can hold on real tight, bring my crutch, bring my bad leg, and follow it with my good leg. So some different strategies for going up and down with a couple different kinds of crutches.